गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर न्यू चैप्टर्स ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड डोपिंग इन स्पोर्ट्स मीनिंग एंड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग वॉट इज ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग मीन्स ट्रेनिंग 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 मीन्स टू गिव प्रैक्टिकल एंड थ्यूटिकल नॉलेज ओके ट्रेनिंग मीन्स टू गिव प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड थ्यूटिकल नॉलेज मीन्स इट इज अ प्रोसेस ट्रेनिंग इज अ प्रोसेस प्रोसेस फॉर प्रिपरेशन फॉर एनी एक्टिविटी और अ प्रोग्राम इट इज अ प्रोसेस फॉर प्रिपरेशन प्रिपरेशन फॉर एनी प्रोग्राम और अ एक्टिविटी एंड स्पोर्ट्स ट्रेनिंग मीन्स प्रिपेयरिंग अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन फॉर अ स्पोर्ट्स परफॉर्मेंस एंड एंड ट्रेनिंग एंड एंड ट्रेनिंग वी गिव द ट्रेनिंग इन अ सिस्टमेटिक एंड साइंटिफिक वे टू इनहेंस द टू इनहेंस द स्पोर्ट्स परफॉर्मेंस वी गिव ट्रेनिंग इन अ सिस्टमेटिक एंड साइंटिफिक वे सो दैट द परफॉर्मेंस कैन बी इम्प्रूव एंड ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग इट्स अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस वी कान गिव ट्रेनिंग इन वन डे इट इज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस एंड वी गिव द ट्रेनिंग इन अ सिस्टमेटिक एंड साइंटिफिक वे and um uh, training in training we give both practical as well as theoretical knowledge okay so training means training training uh, training helps to increase the performance training in sports is performed to improve and increase the performance so that the positive result can be achieved in game and sports they follow in every uh, they follow in a very systematic way and scientific way by this performance can be improved according to according to matthew sports training is the basic form of preparation of sports person means sports training means preparing a sports person and according to martin it is a plan and control process of achieving goal in which the change of motor performance and behavior are made through measures of contain methods and organization in training methods training methods training methods consists of training period which split into training seasons and training seasons are further divided into training schedule okay in training methods it is divided into training period like preparatory period competition period and transaction period this period is uh, split into training season and training season uh, and training season is divided into training uh, training season is divided further divided into training schedule and according to that we give the training or training training is also divided in macro cycle meso cycle and micro cycle macro meso and micro macro means month month workout plan meso means week uh, week workout plan plan of training seasons and micro means day day workout plan season okay micro means one year macro cycles macro cycle micro cycles and meso cycle macro month meso week and micro day what we have to perform in one day tomorrow etc means micro cycles and uh, training uh, training involves sufficient repetition of work Uh, training in training uh, we give training in a systematic way and according to the schedule and season training involves sufficient repetition of work and on the um, and in training the basic skill the basic skill are repeatedly um, practice until until uh, the mastery is achieved okay the basic skill we repeat we repeat again and again 
again and again and after the mastery is achieved then we go for the advanced skill advanced skill and the training program and the training program is pre-planned okay training plan uh, training program is pre-planned and we and after planning it we follow we follow the plan training schedule training plan in a systematic process systematic way training period uh, from training period okay training period training methods is divided into three period training preparatory period competition period and transactional period in preparatory period in this period player achieve the physical fitness and skill efficiency for the competition preparatory period means the players achieve the physical fitness and skill efficiency for the competition in preparatory period there are three phase first phase in this phase the player develop general ability second phase he develops specific physical fitness and in third uh, third phase he developed the tactics and strategies for the competition uh, preparatory period means in this period the players achieve physical fitness and skill uh, and skill in this phase there are there are three phase first phase in this phase the player develop general ability general ability uh, related to physical fitness like developing his strength endurance along with basic skill and and this phase and this phase is uh, about four to six months about four to six months and phase two phase two in phase two the player develop specific physical fitness specific physical fitness like developing the speed flexibility and coordinative ability players learn the mastery over the skill and technique and this phase second is of two month and phase three in phase three the players develop tactics and strategies okay it develop okay he learn develop the tactics and strategy for the competitions and try to achieve every perfection for the competition next is competition period in this period the player participate in the competitions the player participates in the competition and the aim is to achieve the top performance in the competition that is to achieve uh, to win to win the competition uh, in this first the players the player participate uh, before participating in a competition the practice match are played where his mistakes are correct and after that actual match are uh, actual match after that uh, he play a actual actual match where motivation and feedback are provided for the peak performance of the players okay in competition period first the players in competition uh, competition period um, player participate in the competition the aim is to achieve its aim to achieve its target to achieve its goal to show his top performance in competition periods two part first before taking part in competitions he do some practice competition or practic practice match where the mistakes are correct and after that the actual match are played uh, where the motivation and feedback are provided to improve his performance third phase is third period transactional period that is off seasons it is a relaxing period after the competition after the competition this is a relaxation period the player get recovery from the competition from the competition stress and maintain physical uh, physical ability to the next competition uh, transaction period 
is for relaxing and the athletes can relax by some recreational activity or by performing some exercise uh, similar types of activity etc for the recovery for relaxing his mind his body okay tournament and uh, methods methods of tournament tournament kya hai it is a process of preparing a sports person okay preparing a sports person for us for uh, preparing a sports person to improve his performance and it is a long process and we keep training in a scientific and systematic way training methods in training methods there are three part first preparatory part competition part and transactional part in preparatory part b prepare the competition for the um we prepare a uh, we prepare a participant uh, for the competition and in competition the player participate in the competition and in transaction period it is a relaxation period after the competition uh, the players um, do relaxation by doing uh, some recreational activity or similar type of activity principle principle of sports training principles are the scientific and systematic way to improve sports performance they guide us to develop our physical fitness ability to improve for this principles means this principles principle this principles guide us so that our performance can be achieved the first principle is principle principle of continuity or regularity <coughs> Uh, regularity is very important to improve for this the program of training should be followed regularly without long break a regular schedule does not improve fitness it is a biological necessity means principle of continuity the workout the training should be done regularly should be done uh, regularly uh, and don't take a long break if you take a long break it will uh, it does not uh, improve the physical it will not improve the performance so uh, do a training regularly and uh, do a training continuously or regularly without taking a long break if you do a regular training then it will not improve your performance next is principle of proper overloading principle of proper overloading the overloading should be done uh, done only after achieving uh, a gradual increase in physical activity bring improvement the work or the load should be increased uh, gradually after adoption of previous work means the loading the loading should be uh, should be done in a uh in a, a progressive way in a progressive day um after after the adoption of previous load okay pichle ka jo hum log ne usko load diya only if he achieve he is able to if he able to um, achieve that load agar wo us load ko kar payega then only uh, then only give some others load okay the loading should be in a progressive way principle of specific and scientific training the training the training program should be based on scientific and systematic training training activities should be performed in systematic way according to the requirement of the game uh, game ka jaisa requirement hai usi ke anusar giving them training and uh, it should uh, particularly improve the improve the desirable ability principle of individual difference every individual is different so give the training make the training matters different keeping in the mind age sex height heredity and environmental factors according keeping in keeping keeping this thing 
गिव द ट्रेनिंग ओके वी कान गिव सेम ट्रेनिंग टू सेम वी कान वी कान फॉलो द सेम सेम ट्रेनिंग मैथड्स फॉर ऑल सो इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस गिव द ट्रेनिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस principle of rest and recovery after the after the training do a proper rest and recovery take a proper sleep um for a best performance for a good performance recovery is uh, recovery is must and but don't take a long recovery but recovery should not be very long again and again one should be ready for for this work workout they okay, take rest and recovery but don't take uh, too much long recovery don't take too much long rest proper warming up and limbering down limbering down means cooling down before doing any activity do a proper warming up so, uh, to avoid any injury and after the workout is complete do a limbering down do a cool down to reduce the temperature body temperature principle of principle of uh, progression training program should follow up um, proper progression it should be start with easy activity in the beginning and harder activity later that is simple to complex okay always give always give training in a progressive manner first start bit easy easy activity uh, if he is able to do that activity then only go for a next go for a next um, <coughs> uh, okay from simple to a complex in a progressive manners first simple activity and then only difficult activity step by step safety and prevention prevention is always better than cure so we should keep in mind the safety measure while performing physical training schedules take a proper safety safety means and uh, do a pro and um, do prevention psychological feedback the psychological feedback means motivation keep uh, keep the enthusiasm and pleasures in activity it energize to perform for this the training should consider motivational factors this uh, psychological feedback means uh, keep uh, keep on giving motivation to the players uh, to the players so that it it will energize energize them and um, and training should be considered motivation factors means um give motivation keep on giving uh, give on motivating keep on motivating motivating them during the training medical check up uh, before before training before starting any training do a proper medic uh, do a proper medical check up and if you have any injury illness or rhythmic uh, rhythmic weakness first consult with a doctor total body involvement the training program the print training program should be designed in such a way that one should exercise every part of the body every part of the body okay in train in in training uh, in training program uh, training program in training uh, program uh program access program should include the total body involvement so uh, so to develop uh, for overall development of the body adaptation and tolerance access program of an individual should be adapted to one tolerance ability means give the give training according to their adaptation or tolerance ability ओके okay, जितना वो टॉयलेट कर पाएगा जितना वो टॉयलेट कर पाएगा जितनी उसकी एडोपशन कैपेसिटी है गिव गिव देम ट्रेनिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू डैट 
principle of loading and adoption this principle state that the work load should be gradually increased in a progressive way according to adoption loading load karte rahiye after 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 the adoption warming up warming up it is a it is a uh, preparatory activity in which physiological and psychological preparation of athletes for the main activity warming up warming up means it is a set of exercise and movement which are performed which are performed before the competition uh before the competition to make the body prepare to make the body prepare physiological and psychologically okay warming up warming up it's uh, warming up it's a set of exercise set of exercise or movement which are performed before the competition to make our body to make our body ready physically and psychologically and also to increase our body temperatures with the help of warming up it's help to increase our body temperatures which which uh, which reduce the chance of injury and warming up we do warming up before doing any activity so that our body temperatures increase warming up it is of two types psychological warming up and physiological warming up psychological uh, psychological warming up means related to your mind it prepare the it prepare a mental attitude towards the competition it make the player mentally ready through various psychological way means psychological warming up means <laughs> means making the player mentally ready making you mentally ready uh, through motivations feedback to your body, body behavior change etc uh, with the, uh, by psychological warming up it helps to increase the performance Uh, in psychological warming up the muscular response are not required in physiological warming up physiological warming up is related to your body uh, it is a it is preparing it prepare the body physically to take the workload of the physical stress for competitions okay physiological warming up means making making the body uh, making the body ready for the competition there are two types of physiological warming up passive and active passive means the player warm up his body through external source okay passive means with the help of external source uh, source like uh, like um, like by doing massage stream bath hot vivas hot bath sun bath etc okay passive passive means increasing the body temperatures uh, with the help of external source and active active means active warming up uh, players warm up his body and through actual participation in physical activity activity like uh, like doing uh, like doing warming up okay like doing jogging running etc means uh, physical activity without without the help of external source so warming up means psychological physiological psychological means related to your mind physiological means related to your body and physiological warming up it is two type passive means with the help of external source active means without external help in active also there are two type of warming up general warming up and specific warming up general warming up this general warming up is uh, common is common uh, common for all the all the game it is similar okay in general it is a general in nature and common uh, commonly performed for every activity in a similar way it consists of simple exercise like jogging slow running stretching rotation exercise etc this general warming up is same 
for every game every activity general warming up tone up the major muscles and improve the mobility of the joint it adjusts the circulatory and respiratory system according to the com coming uh, coming needs uh, firstly performing warming up firstly go for 2 to 5 minutes uh, covering a uh, one half or uh, half or one half kilometer distance this then then performing the stretching exercise from top to bottom Uh, perform them with sufficient repetition like neck rotation shoulder rotation alternate swing exercise abdominal rotation forward banging bending backward bending side bending alternate toe touching etc this are the general warming up and specific warming up means uh, those warming up which are related to that specific game ठीक है इट इज स्पेसिफिक इट इज स्पेसिफिक टाइप इन नेचर इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एक्टिविटी टू एक्टिविटी इट टोन ऑफ स्मॉलर मसल्स विच आर कॉमनली यूज इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी इट राइज द मोबिलिटी ऑफ स्मॉल ज्वाइंट इट इम्प्रूव द आई एंड बॉडी कोऑर्डिनेशन बाय दिस द परफेक्शन इन स्किल इज इम्प्रूव इट इज एक्चुअली एक्चुअली prepare the body physically and mentally for example in basketball shuttle running dribbling shooting etc we do this warming up before the competition like uh, like in uh, like in uh, football ball dribbling ball juggling kicking heading etc this all are specific warming up general warming up and specific warming up general warming up is same for all all activity general uh, general in nature and specific warming up means it is a warming up related to that game related to that specific game for badminton specific warming up is different for cricket it is different to okay? give specific warm up is warming up is related to that specific activity only warming up warming up means it is a set of exercise a uh, set of exercise which we do before the competition to increase our body temperatures it make the body physiologically and psychologically ready for the competition warming up is of two type psychological warming up and physiological warming up psychological warming up means it will make you psychologically ready for the competition for example with the help of motivation feedback behavior change etc and physiological warming up means it make uh, it make you uh, it make you ready physically it make it make the body ready for the competition make you physically ready for the competition physiological warming up it is of two type passive and active passive means without uh, passive means with the help of external source with the help of warming up the body with the help of external source and active means without warming up your body without any external help in active warming up it is of two type general warming up and specific warming up general warming up is same for all activities like jogging running forward bending side bending rotation etc and specific warming up means uh, it is specific to that activity only and specific warming up is different for different game what are the importance importance of warming up warming up reduce injury first is if we do warming up our body temperature rise therefore our body become more flexible uh, increase the contract ability etc and the chance of injury is reduced regulate um, regulate system it regulate the cardio respiratory system for the coming coming needs it increase the supply of blood to the working muscles more supply of oxygen also to the working tissue 
means it regulate the system if we do warming up it increase the supply of blood to the working muscle those muscle uh, which we are using it increase the supply of um, blood to that muscles and more oxygen is reach to the working tissue increase energy level it regulate the metabolic rate by its by this the efficiency of energy production is improved it increase the energy source for working body and thus body can work for longer duration better response if we do warming up then there will be the uh, better neuromuscular coordination if uh, if there is better neuromuscular coordination then there will be the fast and efficient response okay neuromuscular coordination okay nervous system and muscular system and if they um, better response if the neuromuscular uh, neuromuscular coordination increase then the there will be the fast and efficient response reaction time improves as the muscle are toned up better concentration warming up make you mentally ready for the competition uh, therefore it will improve the concentration increase perfection better perfection in skill technique and tactics uh, the coordination is more thus the results are better moreover the confidence are developed increase perfection okay if we do warming up it improve the skill technique and tactics therefore our our performance will be perfect improve endurance endurance is improved as a second win comes during warming up this fatigue uh, this warming up this fatigue is delay if we do warming up our endurance will be improved and it's lead to delay the fatigue